creating a customer retargeting campaign on YouTube. All right, folks, we're nearing the end of this journey, so we've saved a big strategy for last. In this lesson, we are going to show you how to retarget potential customers that have interacted with your videos and your channel on YouTube. Getting started. You can create a customer retargeting campaign on YouTube by adding viewers that have shown interest in your product and sales videos to a retargeting list. This way, you can retarget them with more content from your channel until they convert. For this, start on your Google Ads dashboard, and from there, click on the Tools and Settings option in the top bar menu. Then click on the Audience Manager option. Creating the retargeting list and launching the campaign. This will take you to the remarketing section of the Audience Manager. Outlining your perfect YouTube sales funnel for 2020. Hey there everyone. These past training lessons have walked you through the manual strategies that are going to get you started on the right foot. And now, we're about to get into the brainy stuff. The strategies that will help you plan, improve, optimize, and scale. And we are going to start by teaching you how to outline the perfect YouTube sales funnel for 2020. In this lesson, You'll learn how to develop a funnel according to your content efforts and what types of videos you'll have to produce to move each viewer into your funnel. Step number one, identify goals and set stages. It is important to identify what the goals of a sales funnel are and to set them in order before you set up the stages in your funnel. In this training, we're focusing on driving sales and making profit, yet the majority of your business leads won't move right into the bottom of the funnel, ready to make a purchase. That is why it is vital to establish different goals to capture leads at different stages. You have to see the sales funnel as an inverse pyramid that goes from top to bottom. On top are the leads that are less likely to convert, the leads that may not even be aware of your brand and that you have to suck in. In the middle are the leads that are aware of your brand and are interested in your offer. And in the bottom, are the leads that are ready to get their hands on your product. Let's establish goals for each stage in the funnel. At the top of the funnel, your goal is to drive awareness. That is, awareness about your brand or your product or your service. The intention is for the user to become aware that you exist 
regardless of their desire to consume what you offer. At the middle of the funnel, your goal is to drive interest and consideration. Once a lead sees you as a trustworthy authority, they'll keep hanging around, watching your videos, either because you are a trusted source of information or because your products offer a real way to solve an issue or need in their life. Notice that at this point, you can also drive desire. This means that the lead is not only considering your product, but is actively desiring your product. Yet, there is an objection stopping the lead from taking action, such as price, or maybe they need to learn more about the product before making a purchase. Finally, at the bottom of the funnel, the goal is to drive action. This is when a lead is ready to convert by signing up for a trial or making a purchase. Step number two, make a content audit. The next step is to audit your channel to make a content inventory. What you'll do at this point is to check the content that you have in your channel and to take notes about the different types of videos that you have produced. And you are going to analyze how each video can help a lead move from one stage to another. Doing this will help you to better identify at what point of the YouTube content life cycle you are in. For example, you might find that you have more videos that are simply optimized to help people find your videos on YouTube, but that don't push your brand or products too much. Or you may find that you have lots of videos that are centered on your products and that are designed to put viewers in the mood for purchasing. By taking inventory of the different videos you have, you can fine-tune your content strategy to match the goals you need to achieve at each stage of the funnel. In other words, you can find out how many videos you have to create to have an equal number of videos for each stage. This is especially helpful if you're just getting started. Step number three. Plan your content mix for each stage of the funnel. By this point, you know the mindset that will push viewers into each stage in a YouTube sales funnel, and you have a clearer idea of the type of content that you need to produce to balance things out. But to properly balance your content mix, you have to apply a content split for each stage in the funnel, and we found out this to be the perfect content split for your mix. 40% of content for the top of the funnel. This means that 40% of your content has to be intended to reach leads. In other words, search friendly videos that are not necessarily about your brand, but about entertaining things that your audience likes. 40% of content for the middle of the funnel. This means that another 40% of your content will be intended to showcase your products in a context that is familiar to your audience using storytelling techniques. 20% of content for the bottom of the funnel. This means that the last 20% of your content will be intended to encourage your viewers to take action, or at the very least, to find your product videos if they're actively researching them. And that's it, folks. You can design an agency-level sales funnel for your YouTube business in three simple steps, guaranteed. Are you curious about what types of videos work best for YouTube business and which ones perform best for each stage in the funnel? Then tune in to the following lessons. Enabling Monetization on YouTube Easily in 2020 Hey there, friends. We've been talking about using YouTube to do business the easy way by applying monetization strategies that help you to turn viewership into profits from sales driven through the YouTube platform. But let's not forget about channel monetization, the main income strategy offered by YouTube to content creators, which you can leverage to generate an additional income stream from ads that run on the videos that you upload to your channel. How does monetization work? Channel monetization is a revenue sharing model implemented by YouTube to encourage creators to upload the highest quality content possible to the platform. The more a creator is able to engage viewers and increase watch time, the more money they can make. And it works like this. You follow a series of simple steps to apply for monetization. And once your channel is approved, Ads will start running on your videos. Each time a viewer completes watching an ad for a certain period of time, the advertiser pays YouTube for the ad, and you get a cut from that payment. Things to know before enabling monetization. 
Enabling monetization is a great way to supplement your YouTube business income, but YouTube is going to review your channel before enabling you for monetization. These are some things you need to know in order to prepare your channel for the review process. If you want to start earning ad revenue as soon as possible, create videos that encourage prolonged watch times. This is videos that are entertaining and that keep the viewer watching until the end. In general, you have to make videos that are between 6 to 25 minutes long, depending on the topic. If you're using stock footage and audio, make sure to have your licenses up to date and to know exactly where you are getting your stock assets from. This will help you avoid duplication claim as reason for non-approval. Your channel needs to have at least 4,000 combined view hours and a minimum of 1,000 subscribers to get monetized. These numbers aren't difficult to achieve if you produce quality content. It is also necessary to do an SEO audit on your published videos so you can optimize your content for maximum visibility, which will help you reach those numbers more easily. Avoid encouraging viewers to do a sub for sub. YouTube will deny your application if you use sub for sub as an engagement strategy. Instead, call viewers to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. Make sure to review all guidelines on the YouTube channel monetization policies document that you'll find at support.google.com forward slash YouTube forward slash answer forward slash 131392. Enabling Monetization All right, folks. Now that you've prepared to apply for monetization, here's what you'll do. Step by step. Number one, set up an AdSense account if you haven't already. AdSense is the ad revenue share program for publishers and creators, and that's a platform where YouTube will process your payments. You can create an AdSense account at google.com forward slash AdSense forward slash start forward slash. Number two, sign in to your YouTube account and channel that you want to monetize. Click on the profile menu button and then click on the Creator Studio button. Number three, click on the Monetization tab, which you'll find on the left sidebar menu. Number four, if you're eligible to apply for the monetization program, click on the Start button inside the Review Partner Program Terms card, then confirm that you agree to the terms and conditions. Number five, click on the Start button inside the Sign Up for Google AdSense card and sign in to your approved AdSense account. Now, all you have to do is wait for approval, which can take 30 days or less. In that time, keep uploading awesome content and engaging with your audience. What if I'm not approved? There's a certain number of applications that don't get approved for one reason or another, but you don't have to worry. If you're not approved at first, simply examine the reasons the company gives you for non-approval. Take the necessary steps to fix them and wait for an additional 30 days from the day of non-approval to submit a new application. Once you get approved, celebrate! <laughs> Post a thank you video and give a shout out to your most active and most engaged viewers and keep creating awesome videos. Top YouTube Marketing Tips to Increase Sales in 2020 Hey there everyone! When your objective is to drive sales and generate profits, you have to go above and beyond the strategies that you would normally use to simply increase traffic and boost awareness. And that's where YouTube Business Made Easy comes in. Yet you can't underestimate the power of applying proven YouTube marketing tactics when it comes to increasing your chances of driving more sales simply by pushing the right buttons. In this lesson, we are going to discuss the best YouTube marketing tips that will help you to increase sales in 2020. Create short videos. We have talked about the importance of creating videos that promote lengthier watch times. These are videos that are on average between 6 to 25 minutes long, and the intention is to boost retention. But it so happens that the contrary can work as well, if not better in some instances. That's why it is important to include short videos into your mix. Videos that last less than 2 minutes can generate over 50% of your views. 
and they're more effective to deliver your message to certain leads at certain stages of your sales funnel. While a single short video won't help you to drive an immediate sale or to show more than one ad, adding several short videos to your channel can help you to increase watch times because more people will be able to watch your videos in short bursts. This will also help you to capture attention and increase consideration of people short on time, such as people at their jobs. These people are more likely to make urgent decisions. And if you create a video series to showcase your products, then you're more likely to drive a sale from those prospects. Brand your channel. The look of your channel has to match your vision and the way that you want your audience to perceive your products. You have to think of your channel as an extension of your overall online presence or as another page on your business website. This means that every element of your channel has to be customized in a way that is recognizable for people who have visited your other channels, such as your website and your social media profiles. This means that you have to use the same logo that you use on your other channels as your channel icon, to use your header images as your channel cover, and to match the colors and design of cards and CTAs in your channel and videos with the design on your website. Be consistent. A primary marketing strategy is to be consistent with content. This means that you have to publish content at the right time and when your audience expects it. The starting point is to establish a content schedule. You can, for example, study when your viewers are more active and at what times and on which days you get the most views and to publish your videos at those times. You can look at the analytics section of your channel to get this information. You can then plan a content schedule based on those results. For example, if you get peak views and engagements on Tuesdays at 8 p.m., then you have to upload your videos on those days and at that time. You have to also plan the build-up. You can create teasers to post on your other social media channels, and you can set up reminders for your subscribers and followers. Lastly, it is recommended that you automate your content calendar. You can do this by uploading your video when it's done and scheduling the launch for the right time. Use annotations as calls to action and links. YouTube allows you to include annotations in your videos. Annotations are pop-up elements that appear during playtime and that you can use to encourage viewers to take certain actions by clicking on them, such as watching another video, visiting someone else's channel, or visiting a landing page. You can add annotations through the video editor. The more profitable types of YouTube videos in 2020. There is an almost unlimited number of videos that you can create and have success with on YouTube. As long as you create helpful content that is entertaining, you're set to make it big on YouTube. The thing is that not every type of video is going to be profitable, regardless of how many views they get you. What you want is to learn what type of videos are profitable. So let's talk about them. Educational videos. These are videos where you educate leads that are looking for information. This can be information about anything in your niche, about things that can help them find an answer to a question. You can use infographics and whiteboard animations for your educational videos, where your brand becomes the guide to the answer or class that you are providing. These videos are great for capturing leads that are at the top of the funnel, people that are simply researching stuff way before they're aware of your product. One strategy that you might want to apply is to not give out your whole content in one video. Instead, use your educational videos as intros to a larger content series that you can use to move viewers into the bottom of your funnel. For example, if you create a video as the first part of your series and invite viewers to download an ebook where you provide the rest of the info. Explainer videos. These are videos where you explain the solution to a problem. They're similar to educational videos, but they're more specific about explaining a means to an end, such as explaining how a product helps people to solve a problem, or how a tool helps people make more money. These videos can help you to capture leads at the top and in the middle of the funnel, 
because they can spark awareness among people at the top and create interest among people in the middle. The trick is to create videos that explain how the products or services that you sell can solve a given problem, to explain it quickly and in simple terms. Product videos. These are videos where you showcase your products or services. Most commonly, they are short videos that work as an introduction to your products, where brands explain what the product is all about. Please note that these are not adverts, and you shouldn't use them to focus on selling the product. What you'll do is to simply create a video where you clearly explain what your product or service is, how it works, and what type of problems it solves. You can use these videos to engage leads in the middle. While they won't necessarily help you to drive an immediate sale, they will help you to create interest and consideration, leading to a conversion down the line. Tutorials and Demos Video tutorials are videos where you explain to viewers how to do something, from how to use an online tool to how to create a birdhouse. These how-to videos are incredibly effective when it comes to driving conversions because they encourage the user to learn how to complete a task or achieve an objective if they use the tool or product in the tutorial. Because of that, these are the type of videos that you are going to use to convert people in the last stages of your funnel. For example, you can create a tutorial video to teach people how to use a tool that you are promoting to create a website with integrated shopping cart in just a few minutes. Because you are providing a quick, easy solution to a problem that lots of people want to solve, you can drive lots of conversions from that video simply by inserting your affiliate link in the video description. Testimonials In these videos, you are going to feature testimonials of people providing feedback about your product. Normally, these are recordings of clients that have had a good experience with a brand, product, or service. What you have to do is to ask some of your customers to rate your product on camera and talk about how it has helped them to achieve results. Testimonial videos are the equivalent to reviews on a website, and they can help leads at the bottom of your funnel to make the final purchasing decision. Alternative Monetization Strategies for Businesses on YouTube One of the things you'll hear from every successful hustler when he asks them what their secret is, they'll say diversification. Diversification means to create additional income streams to supplement your main hustle. In this case, your main hustle is YouTube. And it is a good idea to supplement your YouTube business strategies with additional streams. The following is a list of our favorites. Patreon. Patreon is a membership platform that allows creators to set up a membership program so they can monetize their content. And it is a favorite among creators on YouTube. With it, you can create a membership business through which your biggest fans are able to pay a fee to get access to your premium content. What this means is that you can use Patreon to set up a paywall for your best content. For example, you can create a premium video course that is not available on YouTube and that only Patreon subscribers can get. And in case you're not monetizing your YouTube content, you can create a subscription service where you send subscribers a different product monthly for a fee. And you can funnel viewers from YouTube to sign up to this service. Daily Motion Daily Motion is a video streaming service that is similar to YouTube in look and feel but that offers more relaxed guidelines and access to an international audience that you won't find on YouTube. Daily Motion has a partner program that lets you monetize your video content, and it's easy to apply. This means that you can join Daily Motion, join the partner program, and monetize your videos there too. Brid TV Brid TV is a scalable YouTube alternative with a great monetization solution and white label service for content creators. What makes Brid TV special is that it is a dedicated online video player platform. This means that it lets you host your videos on their platform, so you can then embed them on your site or anywhere else, and you can monetize your videos with different ad formats in those placements. Twitch, Twitch is a live streaming platform. 
perhaps the most popular streaming site of all, it has attracted former YouTube live streamers who have ended up moving their business there. Twitch is a great platform to stream live events, product demonstrations, and services live. It gives you a great opportunity to show what you do in real time. And it has a great partner program that lets you monetize your streams once you build a sizable follower count. Mixer Mixer is an interactive live streaming platform that offers a similar experience to that of Twitch. Held as the best Twitch alternative, it offers juicy monetization options such as membership programs, a partnership program, and access to verified channels for businesses that will help you take monetization to a new level. Facebook and Facebook for Creators There's no doubt that Facebook is still the king of social media platforms and one of the most active, most profitable sites on the planet. It is also a great platform to post your video content and make money off it. It works similar to YouTube in that you have to upload your videos and add your action URLs. But be careful. On Facebook, you have to directly upload the videos to the platform instead of sharing the YouTube video URL. The only bad news is that video content on Facebook doesn't have the same evergreen potential as on YouTube. So what you have to do is to create shorter videos and to share them on a more regular but equally consistent frequency. On the other hand, Facebook for Creators is a Facebook program that you can join to monetize your video content on Facebook, which is possible through ads, brand collaborations, and other built-in monetization tools. You can join the Facebook for Creators program at facebook.com forward slash creators. YouTube Business Do's and Don'ts Do's Plan everything. It is crucial that you plan everything you'll do with your YouTube business. From your next video to your upcoming product launch video campaign, it is important that you think about the results that you want to get before you execute. Be customer-centric. Your YouTube business content has to be customer-centric. This means that you have to create videos that make the viewer aware that you are selling a product or service and that help them make faster purchasing decisions. Be entertaining. Your message is going to resonate more with your audience if you entertain and educate at the same time. This ensures that viewers will remember your brand down the road. Be original. You have to work on creating a voice and feel that is unique for your brand. Something that helps new viewers differentiate you from the competition. And that cues repeat viewers into recognizing your unique brand identity. Be consistent. Make sure to stick to a content schedule. Release videos when people expect them. Share relevant stuff with your social media followers at specific times every day, and so on. Engage with your audience. Engaging with your audience is as important as creating quality content. Simply reply to comments, like interactions, and give shoutouts to active viewers and subscribers and you'll keep your prospects happy. Engage with other YouTube businesses. It is highly recommended that you interact with other brands on YouTube. Find similar businesses to yours and comment on their videos. This will expose your brand to an untapped audience. Be visually attractive. Maintaining a clean professional image and neat production values will help you attract more viewers and keep existing ones coming back. A well-designed channel and videos are great for growth. Use calls to action. Always make clear what action you want a user to complete at any point in all of your videos, be it to visit a website, to watch an upcoming video, or to submit their info. Always ask your viewers to take action. Monitor your performance. Keep an eye on your performance by tracking the metrics that are relevant to your goals, such as view times, click-through rates, and conversions. Don't. Don't steal content. It is okay to reverse engineer and repurpose content by giving it a different angle. However, copying content from another creator or business and reusing it as your own will get you in trouble and damage your reputation. Don't mislead. Always create content that is consistent with your keywords. 
Never use keywords that attract traffic to the wrong type of video just because it adds more viewers to your counter. Don't spam. Never overpromote your offers. And never spam your subscribers with notifications. Users won't buy anything just because you publish a product video every day. Don't try to go viral. At least not all the time. Going viral is sometimes a matter of luck, and failed attempts can look desperate to your viewers. So, if you plan to make a video go viral, plan well and find assistance if possible. Don't try to become famous. Becoming a famous YouTuber is not the job of a YouTube business. To have a very large viewership, you have to create entertainment-centric videos with a very mainstream appeal. Instead, focus on growing your own limited niche audience. That's where your customers are at. Don't force sub for sub. There is no point on following random accounts if you run a YouTube business. So offering to subscribe to other channels if they subscribe to yours is a surefire way to grow a fake audience that will never buy from you. Don't disappear. If you have to take a break from YouTube for any reason, tell your subscribers and announce it on your channel. This way, people will know that you'll be back and won't think that you became inactive. Don't publish corporate stuff. Don't publish videos about your business or about very technical details of your service unless you do it in an entertaining way. For example, by publishing a behind-the-scenes or production bloopers video. Don't argue with others. Don't take criticism personal and never argue with users in the comments. Always reply with professionalism and ignore, even block overtly toxic interactions. Don't overpublish. Avoid posting too many videos and avoid publishing and creating every video that pops into your mind. Simply keep your intended content schedule consistent and your YouTube business will be all right. YouTube Business Tools and Services to Consider VidIQ VidIQ is a video marketing tool designed for YouTube businesses and creators that are serious about getting profitable results. It is a certified YouTube platform that will help you analyze your existing content and will provide you with insights that you can use to improve your output. It offers powerful analytics features that monitor keyword scores, views, search term metrics, engagement metrics, and much more. You can also add it as an extension on Chrome for easier access. TubeBuddy TubeBuddy is an all-in-one productivity tool for your YouTube business. It can help you organize all your YouTube activities under a single dashboard, and it helps you understand your audience, to optimize your content, and to improve your SEO strategy. TubeBuddy offers you features that include advanced keyword research, time-saving templates and publishing tools, search engine optimization resources, built-in promotional tools, as well as analytics and split testing tools. Social Blade. Social Blade is a top analytics tool and a favorite among successful YouTubers running their businesses on the platform. It has a powerful monitoring engine that helps you track user statistics and provides a deeper understanding of the user growth and trends that matter most to your YouTube business. Social Blade is powerful, but not complicated. It provides you with a simplified analytics technology that is easy to understand for any creator. It allows you to see your subscribers, your video views, and your estimated earnings by date. And it makes it easier than ever for you to rank your videos, find influencers, and grow your channels. Woobox Woobox is an all-in-one online marketing platform that has a dedicated suite for YouTube creators and businesses which is designed to help you promote your YouTube channel and your content on Facebook the easy way. With Woobox, you'll be able to display your videos on a Facebook page tab with just a few clicks. It is easy. It allows you to feature your best videos. It adds a subscribe button so viewers can subscribe without leaving your YouTube tab and exposes your YouTube business to the Facebook audience. Pixlr Pixlr 
is a next-generation image editing tool that is designed for YouTube businesses and online marketers. Pixlr provides you with next-level intuitive image editing tools that are powered by artificial intelligence. It is easy to use, and it makes editing your YouTube thumbnail seamless, fun, and fast. You can use it to edit stuff carefully on your desktop, or to edit stuff such as special effects and stickers for your videos on the go. Tubular Insights Tubular Insights is, just as the name implies, a video marketing insights platform that is designed to give YouTube businesses the latest and most popular insights on the video marketing industry. More specifically, it is a network of video marketing experts that monitor, analyze, and collect the latest, most relevant information from every corner of the video marketing industry. With Tubular Insights, you'll get the latest trends, tips, and analysis for your YouTube business strategy from these experts right to your inbox. Camtasia Camtasia is a video editing and screen recording tool that might just be the perfect solution for your growing YouTube business because it offers you an all-in-one suite for all your screencasting and video editing needs. With Camtasia, you can mark up videos, make edits, add effects, capture and customize the movements of your mouse on the screen, show keystrokes, add notes, annotations, highlights, captions, and much more. Camtasia is perfect for creating tutorials, video lessons, explainers, how-to videos, demos, training videos, and the like. Hootsuite Hootsuite is an awesome social media management tool with great YouTube business features. It offers brands and creators on the platform a simpler way to manage their YouTube business. And it unlocks new ways to save time and grow your video views. Hootsuite will help you to schedule videos on your own terms, to share your YouTube videos across social media, and to automatically search, find, and share videos from your custom search stream when you don't have videos to publish. SEM Rush SEM Rush is a social media analytics tool that will help you with your YouTube business SEO, competitive search, and content strategies. You can use SEM Rush to do keyword analysis in your niche to run a channel audit, to track your performance and backlinks, and to get organic traffic insights. Headliner Headliner is an amazing video creation tool for YouTube businesses and creators. It helps you get your content ideas more easily and faster because it offers you a canvas where you can insert your videos, images, and audio, then add animations, captions, GIFs, and more until you get the perfect video. Then it makes it easy to export and share your video on YouTube and across all your channels. YouTube Business Success Stories Xfinity Mobile Xfinity Mobile is a new type of wireless service plan that is owned and run by Comcast. Objective, the company needed to create product consideration and sales for its new offer. Strategy, the company created a YouTube video campaign where it showed viewers how much money they would save by using the service. Results, the campaign lifted brand consideration by 113% and generated thousands of customers. Hershey's Hershey's is a famous chocolate brand owned by the Hershey's Company, one of the largest chocolate manufacturers in the world. Objective The company wanted to create interest for a new line of chocolate that it was about to launch. Strategy The company partnered with top creators in the company's niche, which included bakers and food artists, in order to align its message with YouTubers that had an established influence. Results this strategy helped the company generate a 22% lift in purchase intent and drove more than $9 million in retail sales. Abriva Abriva is a brand of cold medications that sells cold sore treatments and it is produced by GSK. Objective The brand wanted to connect with a younger audience so they could be more aware about its products and their benefits. Strategy the company created and ran 119 different pre-roll ads that lasted 6 seconds each, targeted at different teenager segments. Results? 
Personalizing their YouTube ads helped the brand lift search interest by a whopping 342%. Ukes. Ukes is one of the largest online fashion and luxury retailers. Objective. The retailer's objective was very clear. To drive conversions straight from a video. Strategy. The retailer created a series of interactive video ads featuring different products, and each was targeted at a different segment. Results? The retailer was able to generate a 37% view-through rate, thousands of conversions, and six-figure sales from this campaign. United Airlines United Airlines is a major American airline and the third largest in the world. Objective the airline's objective was to convert website visitors that left the site without making a purchase decision. Strategy The airline created a 15-second YouTube video that showed people on vacation after booking a flight through the airline's website. Results? In just one month, the airline generated 52% of their website conversions straight from click-throughs coming from the video. Johnson & Johnson Johnson & Johnson is an American company that develops and sells pharmaceutical products and consumer goods. Objective. The company wanted to reach more customers for its makeup remover and cleansing brand. Strategy. The company created a series of video ads where they showed the makeup remover, and they swapped elements in the video according to the segment they were targeting. Results? The company saw sales lift by 14% in households that were exposed to the ad. Frito-Lay Frito-Lay is an American food company that manufactures, markets, and sells snack foods. Objective The company wanted to promote a new line of Doritos with an innovative campaign model. Strategy The company created a video sequence campaign where the viewer interacted with a video ad and selected which video ad to watch next. Results The campaign generated a 19% lift in product favorability and help the new Doritos line to become a top-selling product for five years. Backlinko Backlinko is an online marketing and SEO business run by Brian Dean. Objective Brian wanted to increase the number of views that he was getting on his channel, so we could send more traffic to his business website. Strategy Brian did deep keyword research to find high traffic and low competition search terms used by his potential audience. Results Brian was able to generate more than 295,000 views that led to a lot of click-throughs and sales of his marketing kits. Buffer Buffer is a popular social media marketing company that sells tools and solutions for online businesses. Objective The company needed to get their channel off the ground, build their audience, and become successful. Strategy The company started optimizing their videos and targeted search terms and keywords used by small businesses. Results? Buffer was able to increase watch time by 61%, which meant increased brand consideration and sales. Jeff Bullis Jeff Bullis is an entrepreneur, business owner, and top online marketing influencer. Objective Jeff's objective was to create awareness and consideration for a drumming education company that he was starting with a business partner. Strategy. Jeff studied and reverse-engineered content strategies by his top competitors and stuck to a content schedule. Results? Jeff was able to capture 500,000 YouTube views and generated a lot of business. YouTube Business Frequently Asked Questions Is YouTube Business different from YouTube Marketing? YouTube Business is a more holistic approach to YouTube than YouTube Marketing because the goal of YouTube Business is to build a presence for your business on the platform and to bring business-specific results. That is, to attract customers, make sales, and keep the profits. To that end, a YouTube Business has to learn how to do YouTube Marketing. This means that YouTube marketing is essentially part of doing YouTube business. And what is the difference between a YouTube business and a YouTube creator? As a YouTube business, your goal is to represent your business on the platform, to attract customers on the platform, and to generate sales. 
yet your focus is not on the platform. A YouTube creator is someone or a brand that creates video content specifically to grow as a YouTube content creator and to profit from the platform. Is it necessary to do YouTube business if you are already promoting elsewhere? YouTube is an excellent platform to diversify your content and your reach. It is one thing to favor one social media site over another, because every social media site offers something different and caters to a different type of customer. And you could be missing out if you ignore YouTube simply because you are promoting elsewhere. On YouTube, you can find a very valuable segment of your audience that is not active on other social platforms. Besides, YouTube is one of the top most active websites that exists. Lastly, YouTube is the place to drive real business results. Does your business need more than one channel? It depends on how many different types of products you sell. If you sell vastly different products under the same business, then it is a good idea to create more than one channel. Again, only if it makes sense. You might also want to create more than one channel if you plan to execute more than one type of content strategy. For example, you can create a channel for training and educational content and one for showcasing your offers. Is it a good idea to upload video commercials? Of course! But you have to do it with the intention of advertising them. In fact, creating short commercial videos to advertise your products can be the quickest way to make money on YouTube. Now, be careful about uploading commercials as content for your audience. Instead, focus on quality content that guides them through your funnel until they decide on a purchase. The commercials will help you to convert users that are not your subscribers yet. Can you organize content on your channel like on a website? Organization is crucial when it comes to the image of your business and branding, and that includes the presentation of your YouTube channel. Thankfully, you can create playlists to organize your videos into categories, and you can do it right from your channel dashboard. This will help you to keep your channel nice and tidy. It will make it easier for viewers to browse your content. Is it better to produce your own videos or to outsource them? In general, it is a better idea to outsource your videos to dedicated video creators and, in fact, to automate most of the non-business tasks and to delegate the creative output down the line. Now, it may be that creating your videos is your passion and your business. So as long as you know how to create awesome, quality videos, then you can go this route. Otherwise, it is more productive to dedicate your energy to the business strategies. Do you need a large budget to start a YouTube business? No. In fact, starting a YouTube business offers you a very low entry to making money online, and you can always scale. You are going to need some money, though, according to what you can afford to create by yourself and the things that you'll need to outsource. For example, if you have graphic design skills, you can create your own thumbnails and graphics, which means that you can cut that out from your budget. On the other hand, there are going to be things like ads that will require you to invest some money. But again, it all comes down to scaling. This means you can start investing as low as $5 a day on ads and to scale once you're able to reinvest your earnings. Are views and subscribers important to a YouTube business? As baffling as this may sound, they're not that important. Thousands of views and subscribers won't tell you the whole picture and won't tell you anything about the results that you want for your business. The metrics you want to look at are the metrics that signal intent. These include watch times and click-throughs. Is there a way to know whether a YouTube lead is considering your products? One easy way to determine this is to scan intent after the user clicks through from one of your videos to your website. The first thing you have to take note of is what type of video the viewer comes from. A video from the top of the funnel, from the middle, or from the bottom. Next, you are going to analyze the behavior on your website. Things you can learn about a visitor are session times, clicks, pages visited, whether they converted or submitted a form, and abandoned carts. You can check that information on your analytics tool of choice.